science fiction TV shows, books, and movies almost always take place in the future. And what is the most common setting of any form of media taking place in the future? Space, the final frontier. And what could be a better symbol of space sci-fi than the starship? But what is a starship? Starships are theoretical spacecrafts made to take humans to other solar systems, rather than to other planets. So there are two important things to remember. They have to be interstellar traveling and carry intelligent life, whether it be humans, Klingons, Vulcans, Romulans, or whatever. This means that the USS Enterprise from Star Trek certainly is a starship, which is good because it's one of the most famous starships ever imagined. However, the Pegasus from BBC's Space Odyssey, Voyage to the Planets, is not. Even though it carries five humans on a six-year mission throughout the solar system and it's a mile long, but it can never travel to other solar systems. So, just how possible are starships? Well, there are multiple requirements we must note, but also some we must not because it would still be considered a starship without it. First, it needs to be able to escape the gravitational influence of the home star, or else it would not be able to reach any other star systems. Piloting a ship that's supposed to be a starship, but running out of fuel before stellar escape, is kind of like piloting a plane, but running out of fuel before you take off. They also need to carry an intelligent life form, meaning Voyager cannot be a starship, but this Voyager certainly can. However, one of the things you don't need is warp speed. You could use cryonic, also incorrectly known as cryogenic, technology, like the Jupiter 2 from Lost in Space. Starships will also need protection from foreign objects, including interstellar radiation. However, starships do not need weapons, unless Romulans do exist. Lastly, all starships need to get up to an optimal speed, but they don't need constant thrust. This sounds crazy, but remember, there is no drag force in space. NASA has already done this several times when launching rovers. They're just launched and coast through space for seven months. In fact, Voyager 1 has been quietly coasting through space since 1977, and it is an interstellar space now. Now, if we had a ship with warp capability and long-range weapons, for instance, the Enterprise, would anything launched from the phasers actually go forwards and hit the targets? No. In fact, the only ship it would injure would probably be itself. And that is the same for every starship with warp capability, not just Federation ships. Now, the projectile would be launched from the gun just like normal, but it would quickly go backwards relative to the ship. So if you're traveling in the other ship, I guess you'll have a chance to live long and prosper. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to set YouTube to subscribe. Also, please set this video on a course to your friends at Warp Factor 1 by sharing it with them. Live long and prosper.